Okay, so what are we looking at here? Well, this is a Lazy Susan marble distributor, or rather, it's a it's a many to one. So you can have many feeds coming in here, and this encourages them all out of this one feed uh, output feed tube. Um, this can be used in a couple of different ways. I originally envisaged this would sit on top of the machine. All the conveyor marbles would end up in here, and then this would feed uh, a long tube going down into a Y tree to feed all the instruments. Rather than having a divider, which is kind of random, this would be much more sort of uh, well, be more reliable, I think. Um, but it would take uh, sort of eliminate the fish stare and everything. Uh, but another way this could be used is underneath the Marble Machine X. Uh, there's a problem brewing, I think, which we haven't really just, uh, addressed yet, which is that when you start getting lots and lots of marbles coming down all the different races underneath the machine, and then they all have to get into the uh, single queue to get into the marble wheel, the, the wheel lifts, I think there's potential for some crashing and jamming and stuff going on under there. So this could be a way, again, to solve that issue uh, so before it even arises by uh, putting one of these, you know, obviously scaled up a little bit underneath the machine. You could have all the different marble feeds coming from all the different instruments landing in here, obviously with a, a higher wall so they wouldn't crash into each other and bounce out. Um, and then this just encourages them all into a nice orderly queue to go into the uh, the marble wheel. I'll show you how it works now. So let's start with the wheel. How does this work? Well, let me just take this off. So this wheel, it just has some uh, ridges on it. It's slightly uh, higher in the middle. It encourages marbles to roll out to the edge. And then it's got these ridges in it, which at the very edge are spaced one marble apart. And that's just to try and encourage the marbles to go round in a circle and join the queue. Underneath is a marble race. You can see it's uh, machined out of there, and then on the edge of that is a gear. The gear is what the Technic is using to drive against, and that sits on top of another marble race, uh, which is just housing housing some just regular old glass marbles. Uh, don't need the the weight for these, and that just sits on top like so. And when you turn this, this is just a, a gearing system to get this a bit faster. And there's one extra gear on this side just to balance that off. And that is it. And the rest of this gubbins down here is, uh, is just to <laughs> catch all the marbles so that I can feed them back in again into here. Right, let's have a wee go. First, we'll try it with a single marble. So, if I put a marble in there, you can see anywhere you put it on any side, it just wants to roll down to the edge, like so. And then let's pop it here. And if I turn this like this, out it goes. Let's try a few more marbles. Okay, here goes nothing. <laughs> 